I'm working in one of my customer's uh, shops for the next few days, building some of my machinery. I got full access to come and go as I want, and I'm building some of my Accu feeders. They have one of their own down here on one of the machines. But I wanted to show you the, um, the misters coming away. It's like working in a tropical rainforest. Yesterday, I asked one of the guys if they had a bar of soap. He said, how come? And when the mister went off, I stood under it and used my hand underneath my armpit like I was taking a bath in the shower. He started laughing. In printing companies in the wintertime, or companies that deal in paper, it gets very dry. And obviously, you uh, would know that in your own house, how dry it gets when you turn the heat on if you don't have a, an April air or something. Well, the first thing that happens when these misters are all over the shop, it puts a tremendous amount of moisture back into the air because the moisture leaves very quickly. And when you're dealing with paper, the first thing that paper does is the moisture is pulled out of the paper. So I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate this very well, but if you walk up to a stack of paper and grab a handful of it like this and I bend it up when I let go of it it'll stay there it'll stay just like that it'll and, and then you, you'd have to push it down so paper that has moisture in it when I do that it should fall down and many times I go into shops that are dry and I go to the corner of a stack of paper and turn it up and the corner stays up that's because of how dry the paper is um, so this keeps moisture in the paper. Um, the moisture content in paper is a lot. I forget, it, it's a very high percentage um, in paper when it's created and even as it exists um, in its makeup and chemistry that is moisture. And when that moisture dries up, it makes it very difficult to print on it, feed it out of feeders, collate it, stitch it, cut it, trim it, fold it, anything you do in a production environment. Um, so you have to keep the moisture in the air. Um, well, you don't have to. At my shop, I, I could not put one of these facilities in because the ceilings have to be very high. Um, I'm working right underneath that, but I'm not getting wet. So when that goes off, it's a fine mist, but the mist has to dissipate in the air before it reaches down to about the 12 foot level or your machinery would get all rusty, right? Well, you don't want your machinery to rust and you certainly don't want your employees getting wet. So on really horrible years, I would open up the hose, the uh, hose bib along the walls and I would flood the floors in my shop. There'd be water running on the floors. Of course, all the machinery and all of the product is up on pallets, so it doesn't matter. And what that would do is I would use the concrete floor as my radiator. So, as the water ran across the floor, and I mean not a trickle, I mean I flooded the floor. The, the entire floor in my shop would be wet. Um, and then it would, it would of course evaporate up into the air off the concrete. But there is no number of humidifiers that I could purchase that could take care of that. Um, at least, I mean, if you went to Sears Hardware and bought 12 of the best models they had, you still could not put enough moisture in the air to matter. Um, so that's why I use the concrete as a radiator. But here, then that's unusual. That was just my fix on it. Uh, during an exceptionally bad uh, year where it was cold out and the heaters run a lot. 